guys, it's Britt and welcome back to my channel. Today we are making another recipe from the Perfectly Plant-Based Cookbook. You guys know all of February we've been covering this cookbook, sharing our favorite recipes from it, and today we are going to do just that. This recipe is in the front of the cookbook on page 22, and we are going to make the apple cinnamon muffins. This recipe just called to me. It's snowy here in Pittsburgh. It's been a week. Something nice for breakfast or as a treat is definitely in order. So I will link the recipe if I can find it online. And I believe that the author of this recipe has posted a version similar. It may not be the exact one from this cookbook, but it's pretty close. I will link that down below in the show notes of this video. You can click on it and go there. If you guys want to get the exact recipe I'm doing today, you guys should purchase the cookbook. It's on PBNSG's website. They also have the Kindle version on Amazon. And I will leave a $5 coupon code if you're watching this in the month of February uh, 2021. You can get it $5 off. Again, it's down in the show notes. But again, you can kind of get an idea for the recipe with how I'm going to show you guys today. So I won't give you exact amounts, but I'll put the ingredients on the screen now and I'll walk you guys through it. So there are some interesting ingredients here that really stood out to me, which is another reason why I was int intrigued by this recipe. Not only was it interesting, but um, also easy. So those two things kind of grabbed my attention. Um, this roughly makes around six muffins that are large or around, it says around um, eight muffins for a little bit smaller. I'm gonna make the eight muffins version today. All of this is in the directions, okay? Something that was interesting is that they used buckwheat, okay, soaked buckwheat. So I soaked buckwheat groats um, for many hours to make them nice and soft, and that was really cool. I don't really use buckwheat groats too often in the kitchen. Another thing was oat bran. Um, again, something I really don't use too often. I usually use, I guess, similar to rolled oats, but um, I found oat bran. Uh, and then the rest of the ingredients were pretty common. We have a non-dairy milk, we have applesauce, cinnamon, a banana, baking powder, and an apple. Really easy. And so I'm really excited to whip this up. Again, it's just such a kind of blah week here in Pittsburgh that I'm hoping this is a little treat and we'll do good. So we are going to preheat our oven. Again, we're on page 22 in the Perfectly Plant-Based Cookbook by PBNSG. I have this all linked down below in the show notes and on our website if you guys are interested. And we are gonna mix everything in a high-speed blender until a batter forms, except the baking powder and, and apple, which we're gonna dice up in a little bit. So leave those two there. Everything else is gonna get blended until smooth. Again, you guys know I like simple, quick recipes that are easy, on the go, and this was it. So I'm really excited. So I'm gonna grab, um, actually I have my blender right here. And I'm just double checking, yep, until the batter is smooth. Which you guys know, I really like stuff that, that doesn't take a lot of time. Uh, I work full time and like we have a busy schedule, so stuff that's quick is really nice. So I have our non-dairy milk. I have a little bit of applesauce that's unsweetened. Also, how good does apple cinnamon muffins sound right now? I have one really ripe banana. It's nice and spotty. Our oat bran, the cinnamon, and also those buckwheat groats that I've soaked. And I'm just going to blend this until it's nice and smooth and a batter forms. I'll see you guys whenever it's nice and blended. Once blended, it should take literally like seconds. It wasn't a hard thing to blend at all. I'm just gonna pour it back into my um, mixing bowl or my measuring cup just because it's already already messy. Why dirty another dish, right? Really easy. These could be called blender muffins. They're that easy. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna stir in that baking powder 
and we're going to mix in a little bit of the apple that we cut. And I find that this recipe, the smaller the chunks of apple that you've used, the easier it is. Now imagine you can make so many different variations of this recipe. You could do a pear muffin, you could do different fruit, like a raspberry muffin. I really enjoy how easy and quick this is. I feel like this is the recipe if you need something to take to a friend's house or like on, on the go, this would be the recipe that you would make or if you need something for traveling the next day because literally it took, the only thing you have to prep is soaking the buckwheat groats, but if you do that ahead of time, I mean really it's a piece of cake. All right, so I stirred that in. I'm gonna stir in our apples. And then I have a silicone muffin pan. If you're gonna use a different pan, you make sure it's lined with, with some kind of liner, like um, some kind of parchment cupcake liners, I would suggest. Got our apples. And you can also top some apples on top and make it very festive. Now again, a variation of this exact recipe is linked in the show notes for you. So you can go check it out, but I really suggest that you guys check out the cookbook PBNSG is a nonprofit plant based group from Detroit. They do awesome virtual classes. Check out their classes that they have offering. Um, check out all their resources. They have a ton of online information. And so the cookbook is just one of them that they've kind of curated all of their culinary chefs from the plant based world that they're involved in, and they've all submitted recipes. So I really enjoyed that this cookbook is such a collaboration of different people that love cooking plant-based and they really share their favorites. So this has been really fun. I feel like there's not um, a cookbook that's set up this way from so many different people. So I really suggest checking out our discount code for $5 off in the show notes down below. But I'm gonna portion these out. I actually might make more than eight. I might make 12 um, just because I have the way I have my silicone pan, I feel like it's gonna be enough for 12. So you can make six really, really, really large muffins, or I would say around 12 medium-sized ones, but we're gonna go with 12 today. I measured out the batter. It came out to do 12 pretty full muffins. So the recipe in the cookbook calls for six to eight. I definitely got 12 out of this one, so you guys will have to let me know if you try this recipe out from the cookbook, how many muffins did it make in the comments below. Mine definitely made 12. I will see you guys when they're done baking. But I love this recipe because, again, it's so quick to whip up. You can do the majority of the work in your blender. It doesn't take very long, again, besides soaking those buckwheat groats. But I love this recipe. I'm so excited for how these are going to turn out. And I think you could do so many variations with, again, the fruit that you use, the spices. You could do pumpkin pie spice, apple pie spice. Um, a variety of different things. Put some vanilla in here. You can play around with the fruit. I'm gonna go snack on the leftover apple. And I'm sure our whole house is gonna smell amazing as these bake. I will see you guys when it's finished. After your muffins come out of the oven, you just wanna let them cool completely before removing. They make literally like the perfect size for 12. I am so excited. They taste amazing, I've already been snacking on one. If you guys have kids, some almond butter or some apple butter would go great, or jam. These are just such a nice snack, great for traveling. You can make this a pear muffin really easily by swapping the apples for pears, and I know you guys are gonna like this one. So make sure you check out the cookbook. Again, it's from PBNSG, it's called Perfectly Plant-Based. I'll have it linked down below, as well as this recipe. It's also online and available, a, kind of a similar version of this recipe. It's a little bit different in the cookbook, but I'll link that down below for you as well. I hope you guys will get it. Check it out. Make sure you subscribe. I make whole food plant-based recipes every week, multiple times a week. Give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys real soon for the next one. Thanks so much for watching. I'm going to go enjoy these.